ครับฝ่ายอำนวยการก็เป็นผู้หญิงครับระดับกองพันใช้แบบใช้สกิลที่เป็นฝ่ายอำนวยการ We would have litter arms on the ends of like these two white poles right here and then the litter arms you would raise it up and it raise the litter up and you put one litter where that litter is right there and you do that for both sides and then then you can have four litters So basically, if it's a really uncomfortable area, that's probably where you want to set up your. I come to the yard. Feel like I'm not. Important because. Speed. So as you're moving to the patrol base. อย่างตัวนี้ก็คือเป็นเป็นทีมซีเคียวริตี้ครับผมนี่ครับกันสามแล้วก็ของตัวทีมอาจจะเป็นว่าอาจจะเป็นแบบว่าพลาทูซาเจนใช่ไหมก็คือจะใช้เป็นทีมคนก็สามเป็นหลักที่จะประกอบกับเครับคลุกสีเขียวหนึ่งช่อทุกส่วนจะหยุดปฏิบัติ
Lieutenant Colonel Duke Rime, D-U-K-E-R-E-I-M. Lieutenant Colonel Duke Rime, Battalion Commander of 423 Infantry. So we're out here participating in Cobra Gold with Thailand uh, Army Forces. It's a great opportunity for us to come together in a uh, multinational exercise with our army and their army. So it's a great opportunity for us to partner with uh, the Thailand forces. Uh, they've got some new striker variants that uh, we've had for the last couple decades. And so we're, we're creating a unique opportunity to work together to show our TTPs, our tactics, techniques, and procedures, along with some of the things that they've developed over the years and come together as a, as a fighting force and trade uh, great ways to, to train and work together. Anytime we get to work with our multinational forces is a great opportunity. Uh, we get to see what uh, they're capable of. They get to see what we're capable of. But most importantly, uh, we get to create those relationships, those lasting relationships that will bridge uh, generations to come as we continue to fight alongside each other in the Indo-PACOM region. No, I think this is, a, this is a great opportunity for all of us to, to come together. Um, our forces, uh, we didn't get to do this last year because of COVID. And so I think it's a unique opportunity that we could, you know, come together. Uh, we still had some restrictions, but we fought through those. And it shows the importance of this exercise as we continue to build relationships and training uh, throughout the region. Staff Sergeant Geraldo Almendares, G-E-R-A-L-D-O. A-L-M-E-N-D-A-R-E-S. Okay, so what's going on here is we're building relations between United States Army and the Thailand soldiers, the Royal Thai Army soldiers. And we're just teaching them, showing them our tactics, and showing them how we run uh, battle drills, showing them more of how we um, set up defenses, offenses, with strikers and dismounts. Actually, they are they have a great sense of urgency. They did pick up on everything very well. Um, I'm PFC Charles Fairbairn, C-H-A-R-L-E-S-F-A-I-R-B-A-I-R-N. Um, I'm a driver. Um, so what do you do? I drive the striker. So um, I've been really um, active in like teaching and everything. I'm a striker leader, so I'm really knowledgeable about the striker. And um, I've, I've had a big part in you know teaching them. Um, how the striker works, um, like how to PMCS the striker, which is um, doing the ma ba basic maintenance on the striker, um, teach them about the weapon systems and stuff like that. They've been really receptive to everything that we've, you know, been teaching them, um, really engaged, um, and it's, I feel like it's been working really well. Um, just their readiness to do anything, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, as far as maintenance or, you know, dismounting from the striker and, you know, pulling security, they're always, you know, really, really, I mean, moving to it and, you know, getting stuff done. Um, just about their culture and, um, like, some of their different tactics, like, their strikers are different than ours and, like, what's different about their strikers and stuff like that.